Hello friends and family, hello everybody out there, it's Rhea and I just wanted to say hey, I know that this is, in true Rhea style, is extremely late and I'm talking like really late. Oh by the way, the Wisconsin sun actually decided to come out today. So that's kind of amazing, I'm happy about that. So like I was saying, I know this is really, really late. I have decided to go ahead and post it anyways. This was a very inspired video. This was the most ambitious nail art, nail anything I've ever done. I am not, like, I paint my nails, but I'm not like, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a very fancy nail person. So this was like the biggest, most I don't know, elaborate thing I've ever done with nails. And it was a learning process, I'm not gonna lie, it was a learning process, and, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I also was doing it when I was trying to do like a billion other things at the same time, which was not a good idea. So I'm gonna put it up anyways because I figured uh, I will go back and revisit it maybe or do some other kind of nail art and take some of what I've learned to the next project, I guess you could say. Anyways, all in all, I hope you enjoy this and just find it entertaining, me fumbling around with nail polish, nail art, stickers, rhinestones, painter's tape, and all of the above. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is all the stuff I'm gonna be using today for my DIY whatever holiday nails. Okay, so what I got is, I know this is going to sound funny, but anyway, I got a box and I'm going to show you why. I have some scissors, I have my painter's blue tape because I don't have fancy nail tape, and I have a cat in the background howling. I have some tweezers, I have uh, nail glue, I, ha I have these nails that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply, but I mean, you could buy nails from the dollar store. I got these little gemstones from the dollar store, actually, so, you know, hey, why not? I'm using what I got, and then I just found a couple of nail polishes that I had in my collection that I'm going to figure out which ones I'm going to use. So I know for certain I'm going to use this uh, Butter of London or Butter London nail polish. It's called, let me put it, hey, focus. It's called Knees Up, and it's probably the prettiest, brightest red that I have. Don't mind my wretched nails. But anyways, um, I think this is going to be really pretty, and I think it's going to work for the red that we need. For the candy cane stripes, I have two OPI colors. Now this one is just like a silver glittery metallic, and it is called, what, Crown Me Already? But I think, honestly, the one I'm going to go with is this one, and it is called Designer De Better, right? Designer De Better, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you could see it in, let me do like kind of a close-up, but it's just, it's, a, it's an interesting silver. It's not like what I would call like a pure silver, but it has these almost hollow kind of speckled, pieces of glitter kind of sort of in it. Uh, it's much prettier in person. Can you see it's a little bit of red kind of hollow thing going on within the the silver and I think it's going to pair up really well with the red. So honestly I think I'm going to do those two for the main colors and then I usually um, as you could tell with my horrible nails right now is I on my ring finger I usually do a different color and to keep with the whole holiday and whatnot I'm going to do some kind of green. This one's from OPI it's just spotted the lizard. This one is also from OPI it's hot fun in the summer lime. This one is actually China Glaze, and it is called Winter Holly, and because of that, I think I'm going to go with Winter Holly. So because this is inspired by Simply Nail Logical, I'm going to do a hollow, glossy taco, as she would say. I hope I'm saying this right. And these are the two that I found. Now, this is an OPI. It has a little bit of that hollow kind of glitter on it, but still with a clear coat, and it is called I Juggle Men. I juggle men. Okay then. But honestly, I think this is the one I'm going to go for. This is uh, LA Colors, and it has the more bang for your buck. It still has the clear glossy taco, or glossy top coat, but it definitely has a lot more hollow glitter in it. And does it have a name? Okay, so the name on it is Sassy Sparkle Lot 
15, three, four, six, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this painter tape and just do a strip at a time. I'm gonna fold it over like this and attach it to my box like this. And then, you know, do the same side, okay? Oops. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this strip with the nails. So of course I gotta pick out which set um, or what sizes fits the best for me. And uh, then I'm gonna put the nails on here. So just give me one second. Okay, you guys, so I got the tape on the boxes and it's just sticky enough. It's not super sticky, but yeah, I have my thumbnail all the way to my pinky nail. Sorry for the band-aid, whatever. Anyways, and I got the next row going as well. And you just want to make sure that you press down kind of firm, I guess you could say, to make sure that the nail is sticking enough to the tape so it doesn't move while you start painting. And let me move that one over, yeah. And you wanna make sure you have enough space in between uh, because if you're really messy like me or not a very good nail painter, whatever, that you have space to do that. So we have the nails ready to go. I'm gonna keep my tape and the scissors on the sides because we have to cut little strips to make the candy cane stripes. But the first step after all this is to start go ahead and putting on that first coat of that silver um, kind of base coat. Like I said, this is the silver I'm using. It is the OPI. It is the Designer D Better. And um, I think it's going to be really pretty and I think it's going to go great with the red. So this is the first coat of the OPI, the silvery color. And what I'm going to let it do, <laughs> that is a bad sentence. What I'm going to have it do is um, dry before I cut my tape into those stripes and add on the red. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm probably gonna do a second coat just because I really want this to shine through um, because it, it is really a pretty color. It goes on kind of thin though, but I think the end results is gonna look really good. Okay, I just wanted to show you, I did two coats of that color and you could kind of see those little pieces of glitter uh, red sparkle in there. Okay, so here is that foresty green color that I'm going to be wearing on my ring finger. Okay, in order to make the stripes, what I did was is I just took a piece of tape, I cut it down the middle, and then I cut it down those middles again, and that's how I got my little stripes. If you want them thinner, you could cut them down thinner again. If you want them fatter, you could leave them like they are. This is how I made the stripes to kind of give that candy cane look. Okay, so before you add the stripes, you want to make sure that your second coat of nail polish is nice and dry before we move on to the tape. But yeah, so we're going to put the tape on. So after your tape is securely on, you're going to start going over with your red coat. So just paint like normally. Um, yeah. Oh, that's horrible. And here's where the tweezers come into play. I'm going to use these to carefully take off the stripes, you want to do it while they're still kind of wet, um, that way they don't stay permanently stuck together. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is put those little red jewels on the bottom portion of the nail, um, and then we're going to do a top coat of the hollow, the hollow glitter, the clear hollow glitter and then I'll be done because this is taking me forever and um, yeah so but I hope you've enjoyed this and this is like the fanciest nails I've ever done and it's been a learning process like everything I do so I hope you enjoy this so here we go the last portions of all this is we're adding on those little red diamond thingies so the instructions say on the package is to put this like clear coat stuff on. I'm just gonna do it to the whole nail. Okay, I don't know if they're supposed to do this or not, but I 
wet the bottom a little bit just so that the little diamond thingies stick better because when it was dry I noticed it didn't really work so I just kind of like dampened it just like a tiny tiny bit okay me personally I'm noticing it's a lot easier if I do it with the tweezers and this the tweezers to pick it up and then this to like pop it down so Okay, so it's a little bit hard to tell, but I did get all three down, and then it says what you're supposed to do is put another coat of this clear stuff on top to seal it. I will say, after all this, give nail technicians credit. Like, this is not easy work. This is, like, can be very frustrating. So, you know what? All you nail artists out there, all you nail technicians, I praise you because this gets a little frustrating. So now I'm going to do this top coat of hollow. Like, honestly, if you were just to do this on top of red or on top of the silver, like, I get it. I get why she loves hollow so much because, like, it does, it just, I don't know, it makes everything more magical. And like I said, even if you have just, like, a basic color, just put, like, hollow top coat on it and it just makes it fancy. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm turning into a hollow sexual. Oh, my so I'm going to let everything dry and then I'm going to pop them on and we're going to see how they look. They are not perfect. This is not easy. I have learned a lot. I want to attempt this again, maybe a different design, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So here is the end results. All the, the last thing I did was just take some nail glue, put some glue down, and then I held the nails down till they were dry which is pretty self-explanatory. I already had some glue open, so I didn't have to open this one. And I'm trying to do better by my hands, so I've been using this here lately because it's been so cold and dry. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with them. They're pretty fancy, a lot fancier than what I'm used to, so. And I am in love with this, so. Thank you so much. Bye. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you want to watch more, and you know, we can learn more together. So. If you like, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, share it to anyone, whoever, because um, it would be great if we grew this channel even bigger. So thank you so much again. Bye.